Washington is obviously one of the central players, if not the central player. He's the, the major figure on the military side of the story of 76. Um, if you're trying to assess Washington's stature as a soldier and a general, this is the, the weakest moment in his career. This is the one he doesn't want to remember. This is where he nearly loses everything, including his life on a couple of occasions. And he seems in letters to have said, I want to die, rather than suffer the humiliation of a defeat. And General Green claims that in one particular battle on Manhattan, he really seems to be presenting himself to British, approaching British uh, troops as if he wants to be killed. Um, uh, he is not uh, tactically a first-rate general in the same way that Howe is. Howe is the, probably the most the most brilliant British infantry tactician. Um, flanking movements in every battle succeed against Washington in ways that seem obvious in retrospect. But Washington, Washington's greatest asset, apart from his resilience, is that he learns. And it's an expensive way to learn, but out of this experience, he begin, begins to fashion the strategy that will win the war for independence. And he fashions it on the presumption that he, he doesn't have an army that can defeat the British army. And therefore, he has to fight a defensive war of posts, um, protract the conflict, and eventually um, sap the British economy um, and the British will, and eventually they will go away. And I think that that is pretty much what happens. And it is this experience in the summer of 76 that initiates that learning process for Washington.